Hey guys, thank you for joining. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the network days function in Power BI. If you have been following Power BI for a while, so this new DAX function was introduced this month in July 2022. And today I'm going to teach you how to use this function step by step as always. All right. So are you ready? Let's do this. So for today's tutorial, we're going to be covering two points. The first point, I'm going to give you more background about this new DAX function in Power BI. And also I have a practical case. I have three questions here and this is going to be really fun, folks. Let's do this. Like it says right here, this function returns the number of whole work days between two dates using parameters to indicate which and how many days are weekend days. Weekend days and any days that are specified as holidays are not considered as work days. Please keep this information in mind. Here is also the syntax. As you guys can see, four different pieces here. We have the start date and also end date. These are just self-explanatory. These are the date boundaries. And also we have another component here, another piece called weekend. This is a number between 1 and 17. 1 represents Saturday and Sunday, for example. 2 represents Sunday and Monday. 17 is just Saturday. Just to give you guys an idea about this component here, okay? Holidays, like it says right here, a column table of one or more dates that are not part of the working day calendar. Now, folks, let's move on to the next point. Three questions here, my friends. The first question, find the total business days for 2022. Weekend days are Saturdays and Sundays, and also consider the following holidays as part of the exercise, right? We have New Year's Day, we have Independence Day, Veterans Day, and also Christmas Day. The second question here is also find the average delivery business days for each order in the orders table. Here we need to consider July 4 as a holiday. And the last question that we're going to solve here is to create a table with the number of working days for November. Consider Sunday as the only weekend day and Thanksgiving as a holiday. So please keep this in mind and let's go to Power BI Desktop to start playing with this awesome new DAX function. Okay, so here we are in Power BI Desktop and the first question is find the total business days for 2022. Weekend days are Saturdays and Sundays and also we need to consider four holidays, okay? So let's do that. Before we do that, let's explore this model real quick. So we have a table called orders here. Check this out real quick. It's right there. I'm going to share with you this data as well. And we also have another table called dates, which is the calendar table. I'm going to share with you this as well. So no worries about the file. And also we have another table to store measures. And I already have a measure here, which is the average calendar days. Okay. And we are using this iterator average X. So please keep this in mind. And now let's solve the first question. So what we need to do here is to create a measure. So let's do that. Right click here, new measure. So we're going to call this measure 2022 business days. How about that? Okay, let's do that. So let's do that real quick here. And we're going to use this powerful function called network days. So let's do that. It's right there. So the start date for this measure is going to be January 1st, right? So let's do that. So we're going to use this format to represent the date here. Okay. 2022 January and also January 1st. There you go. So the other limit here, the April limit, this is going to be December. Okay. So let's do that. 2022 December 31st. 
how about that okay and then quotation marks here as well so the other piece here is weekend if you remember weekends were saturdays and sundays okay so now we need to add here one okay so the next step here is holidays do you remember the holidays here i remember the holidays so here we need to open this curly bracket and we need to add four different dates here okay so this format again 2022 and the first holiday here is new year january 1st okay so let's close the quotation mark here and then for the other pieces we're gonna copy this real quick so we don't have to do this again and again right so here if you remember we also want to consider july 4th right independence day comma here let's copy the same format here the other holiday was veterans day which is november 11th okay and then the last one is christmas okay so we're gonna put here december 25th all right there you go and now let's close this curly bracket so once we are done with this close parenthesis hit enter and let's see what happens check this out my friends so now this is working perfectly so let's expand this a little bit more here to visualize better so let's drag this new measure into this card and let's see what happens boom in 2022 having as a reference those parameters we have 258 working days so what do you think it's working perfectly my friends the second question was to find the average delivery business days for each order in the orders table and we need to consider july 4 as a holiday okay so let's do that as you can see this table right here is referencing the orders table basically it is the orders table and we have area call order day and delivery day so what we're gonna do here is to understand the average delivery days right so we can do that as well real quick so we're going to create another measure here right click new measure we're going to call this average business days okay business day we're going to use this function called average x why because we want to compute this calculation at a row level so this is going to help us to do that and then here we want to use the table remember the table it's called orders it's right there select the table comma here now we need to use this powerful dax function called net workdays there it is and the next step here is to select the start date so the start date here is going to be the orders date column check this out my friends it's right there and then the end date this is going to be the delivery date column so let's see how it works my friends there you go and then for the weekends here we want to assume that we are talking about saturday and sundays okay so it's going to be one here and then we need to exclude here a holiday remember that it was independence day july 4th so curly bracket here let's open this and then we're going to use this format for date check this out 2021 here july 4th okay so let's close this quotation mark and then if you explore the data you can clearly see here that we have two years right 2021 and 2022 so we're going to include both here okay all right so copy here Control c Control v and here this is going to be 2022 and let's close this curly bracket here close parenthesis for the network days function and now let's close parenthesis for the average x function 
Are you guys ready to see what happens? Let's hit enter. It's loading. Perfect. It seems like it's working, folks. So let's duplicate this car. Control C, Control V. Okay, it's right there. And now let's select business days here. This is the measure that we just created. Okay, 3.31, folks. Remember that. Let's duplicate this, Control C, Control V. And we're gonna use the measure that was already in the model. Remember that? This was just the regular average calendar days. Let's drag this into this card and let's see what happens. See? If we don't exclude weekends and holidays, so the average delivery day should be 4.17. But now, because we are excluding weekends and holidays, we are getting just 3.31. You can see the difference there, right? It's very helpful. People will ask you, hey, what are the calendar days? What are the delivery calendar days? And other people might ask you, what is the average business days that it takes to deliver a product? So this function is really helpful, as you can see. Okay, so now let's solve the last question, Fox. So the last question is to create a table with the number of working days for November 2022. Consider Sunday as the only weekend day and Thanksgiving as a holiday. So let's do that. We're going to create a table here, Fox. All right. So let's go to modeling here and then let's hit this option called new table. For this particular case, we're going to use three functions, the union function, row function, and also network days function. All right. So let's do that. Let's use union here. Row. And here, the name of the column is going to be type. The name of the row is going to be Sunday. Okay. And now, the name of the column is going to be working days. Okay. And here, to populate the working days, we're going to use, guess what? The network days function. All right. And here we're going to use this format again. And remember, this is for the month of November. So November 1st, it's going to be the start date. And then, so we can copy this for the end date here. So this is going to be. 30th right okay so this is the end date and also if you remember for the weekend day remember that it's only Sundays okay so we need to select here 11 because this represents just Sundays okay and then the other option just leave it blank for now okay so let's close parentheses here Close parentheses here. Perfect. So now let's build the other row. It's going to be very similar here. So let's copy this. So we don't have to reinvent anything, right? Control V. And let's modify this a little bit better here. It should be Thanksgiving as well. It's the name of the new row here. And then working days is the same. And here we need to make a quick adjustment. This is going to be 11 here as well. And now for holiday, if you remember, we shouldn't be considering Thanksgiving. Okay. So let's do the same thing here. Same format 2022 November. And then this is going to be November 24th. So let's close this curly bracket. There you go. I think we are good to go, my friends. So let's give it a try and see what happens. So let's close here for row and let's close here for union. So this should be able to give us a new table with two rows. Okay. Let's hit enter 
and we are ready to show these results. Well, something is going on here, so let's solve this quickly. Guess what? So we didn't add here the quotation mark. So we need to add the quotation mark and let's hit approve and see what happens. Fingers crossed, my friends. Boom. There you go. All right. So it works perfectly. Now we can duplicate this if we want. Control C, Control V right here. And let's remove this. Check this out. So we have another table here called November business days, drug type here, and also working days. Boom. So considering Sunday as the only weekday, we have 26 working days in November. And if we are considering Sunday and Thanksgiving, we only have 25 working days in November. How about that? Isn't this awesome? And then you can play with the filters as well. Just for 2021, everything changes, right? Just for 2022, everything changes. And of course, you can add here as well the average, right? To see the result. Check this out. So the business days is going to be here, 3.31. And then the calendar days, the average calendar day is going to be 417, like it says right here in the cards. So what do you guys think? This is an awesome new DAX function, right? Totally agree with you. If you find this content helpful as always, please leave your questions and comments below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. Also check this content here. It's really good content about Power BI. So you will master this awesome tool. All right, see you guys next time.